All right, guys, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. You know, it's been a while since we've done a just trimming video, so today we're going to do that. Plus, I don't want you to think that all I do is work on lame cows, because that's certainly not my job. The majority of what I do is just maintenance trimming. So we're going to go through a bunch today, and you can kind of watch, and we'll talk a little bit about what I do. All right, so if you're new to this channel or you've never seen this process before, I'll give you a brief rundown of what we're trying to accomplish. First off, this does not hurt the cow. Much like us trimming our fingernails, or if we say we trim our dog's toenails, um, it does not hurt. So all we're trying to do here is, is we're trying to bring this foot back to its natural state. We want to get make sure that the sole doesn't have any high spots in it that are going to focus weight or focus pressure where it doesn't belong. And we're also gonna shorten the toes up a little bit and change the, um, the sole toward the toe is gonna to get thicker over time as it grows. So we're gonna thin that down and get that to the proper thickness. And what that's gonna do when we, if we accomplish that is bring this foot back into the proper angles. If we get the proper angles in the foot, then the bones in the foot align and we save a lot of those interior problems that cows tend to have with their feet. If I come across some cracks that look to be problematic, I'm gonna remove those as well as I don't want rocks and debris and stuff to get jammed up in those. Um, not all cracks are created equal, however. So if I come across some that don't look like they're gonna be problems, I don't take those out because all, we are, all we're doing is creating a hole now. Um, so what I wanna do is just remove cracks that are a problem, leave those that aren't, that are superficial and move on. If you notice this foot, it looks like she's got some holes in the toe area there. What that is, is an area that has done some of uh, what we call natural shedding on its own. Uh, what happens on an on a animal that's on pasture is, is these, these feet wouldn't need to be trimmed nearly as often because that hoof would naturally shed away. And these cows here, they spend some time indoors, but they're also, they spend time outdoors as well on pasture. So you get kind of half and half, you get some of that natural shedding. So what we have here when I'm trimming them is just trying to smooth that out, take away those high spots, like I said earlier. And that way we can get a more balanced uh, foot, especially now going into winter when they're gonna spend a lot more time indoors. You notice me scratching sometimes at the bottom of the feet? This is why, right here. I found a rock in here, and this is not something that I want to hit with my grinders. Uh, it instantly dulls those carbides, and of course, then I got to swap them out. They don't cut as well, so that's why I always make sure to get these rocks out of there, especially in these spots where I got a little overgrowth. They like to tuck right in there, so I check those before I pick that grinder up.
I always ask my viewers, what are the, the favorite videos you like to watch? Well, my analytics tell me that you like the messy ones, but when it comes to favorite videos for, for me to make, these are the ones. And probably just because I like trimming these type of feet, just those regular maintenance trims that you get into a nice rhythm, a nice repetition where you just keep going. The cows are wa all walking good. It's just, it's, it's enjoyable. So if you ever wonder what I think the best videos are, these are my favorite videos. I know it's not as interesting because all it is is trimming, but they're my favorite. All right, that's enough talking for me for a while. I'm gonna let you guys just watch this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I will get back to them as soon as I can. If you like these videos as much as I like making them, let me know and I'll make more of them.
right, guys, thanks for watching. That's going to do it for today's video. You're going to notice I'm going to be posting some a uh, little bit shorter content here and there. I'm just trying out a new feature called Shorts uh, that YouTube is offering now. So I'm just going to try that out a little bit uh, here and there. But I'm going to keep my uploads just as I normally have been twice a week of normal length videos. So don't think that I'm changing anything. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.